Okay, now we'll find the inverse using elementary row operations ERO. So we'll write in terms of A, I, A and the identity matrix and we will perform the ERO until we get I and also the inverse on the right. So the step is 1, okay, you solve column by column, you find number 1 first and then 0, 0. And then proceed with 1, sorry, 1, 0, 0. And then 1, 0, 0. That's it. So let's start. So write the augmented matrix first. 1, 0, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 2, 3, negative 1. Okay. And then the identity 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, the first step is we want, it's already 1 here, okay, it's already number 1 here, so we need to find negative 1 become 0, so it will be, uh, we are referring to R1 plus R2, okay, because negative 1 plus 1 is 0, it's just been at R2 R1 plus R2. So remember, we'll put the row that we want to change at the back. So R1 and R3 will remain the same. So here it will be 1, 0, 3 is unchanged. Okay, for R1 and R3. Okay, here is R1 plus R2, so only R2 will change. So, negative 1 plus negative 1 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 plus negative 2 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh -huh, that's it for the, sec for the 0 here. And then we need to find the 0 for element A31. Okay, you need to make it zero here. So it's between one plus two. How to make it become zero? So we will change in front here. So we multiply by negative two, one times one plus two. So it's negative two r one plus r three because two is in row three. So negative two r one plus r three. So we will get the answer now. So row 2 and row 1 remain the same. 1, 0, 3. Okay, it's remain unchanged. Yeah? 1, 0, 0. And then 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0. So row 3 now will use this one. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. So plus 3 is 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Plus negative 1 will be negative 7. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Plus 0 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 0 is 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 equals to 1. So you continue the next column. So we have obtained the first column here. Because we want it 1, 0, 0. So the next column, we will go for number 1 first. So this element, we will make it become 0. So, uh, not sorry, it becomes 1. So for in order for the element to become 1, we just multiply by a scalar. So, so we multiply 1 over 2 of R2 because the 2 is on row 2. So only row 2 will change, the rest will remain the same. So 1, 0, 3, 1, 0, 0, so that's for row 1 and row 3, 0, 3, negative 7, negative 2, 0, 1. For row 2, we will multiply every element with 1 over 2, so it becomes 0, 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, yes, 0. Okay, nice. Is okay, we set off on this element and then number three here we want to make it becomes a zero. So we'll use R2 as the referring row we'll plus if R3. 
so 3 with 1 so we multiply by negative 3 to make it 0 so now row 1 and row 2 will remain the same so you just copy it down here 1 0 0 and then what else row 3 0 and oh, sorry row 2 okay is it? 0, 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 0. Okay, and then 0, 0. Here will be negative 17 over 2. Here is 1 over negative 3 over 2. Plus uh, negative 2 will be negative 7 over 2. Here is negative 3 over 2. Here is 1. So next is this element. We want to make it 1 here, right? So it will be multiplied by a scalar. Negative 2 over 17 of R3. So R1 and R2 will remain the same. So we just copy down 1, 0, 3. 1, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 0. And then here will be 0, 0, 1, and here is 7 over 17, 3 over 17, and negative 2 over 17. So we just multiply all elements of R3 by negative 2 over 17. So next is this element. Okay, you want to make it 0. So we will refer to this because it's 1 there. So it will be R sorry, negative 3 R3 plus R1. So only R1 will change R2 and R3 will remain the same. So just copy down first. 1 over 2. 1 over 2. 1 over 2. 0. And the rest is 0. 0. 1. 7 over 17. 3 over 17. Negative 2 over 17. So here it will be 1. 0. 0. And then. 7 over 17 will be negative negative 4 over 17 so here is negative 9 over 17 and last one is 6 over 17 so we left it with this one you want to make it 0 again we will um, refer row 3 so it'll be negative 1 over 2 r3 plus r2 so uh, row 1 and row 3 remain the same 1 0 0 negative 4 over 17 negative 9 over 17 6 over 17 so this is our last step yeah please bear with me here so here will be 0 0 0 1 7 over 17, 3 over 17, negative 2 over 17. So row 2 will be 0, 1, 0. Okay. So here is 5 over 17. Next, here is 7 over 17. And last one is 1 over 17 so that's it so this is your a inverse okay actually there are many ways of doing ero so what i do i'm doing here is the simplest or the fastest that you can get okay thank you very much please write in the comment if there is something that you don't understand